All right, so let's take a look at the arm right here. And what we'll notice with the arm, let me just flip my camera over a little bit so my hand won't cover the camera, right? You'll have the pronator teres, which is number 12, and it's gonna go from the medial epicondyle to the radius itself. Then immediately, right, medial to that is number 13, which is your flexor carpi radialis. Then next to that is number 14, your palmaris longus. That's the one that we mentioned that some people might have, and it's kind of a vestigial muscle. All right, then when you look directly below and most medial, you see a number 15. This is your flexor carpi ulnaris. Now, the other muscle we're gonna look at, you would actually have to remove some of the muscles up here. So let's remove your brachioradialis muscle. And what you'll notice is right away, if you follow the pronator teres, there's a muscle immediately lateral to this. This is your supinator muscle. You also see the superficial radial nerve on its way up as well, right? On the underside as well, we'll remove the pronator teres musculature, and then you see this muscle that goes under the flexor retinaculum and into the palms. This is your flexor digitorum superficialis, all right? Then you can also see the median nerve on its way down, and we're gonna actually follow that when we remove the flexor digitorum muscle over here. As we remove the flexor digitorum muscle, then you see the muscle that's deepest, and this muscle is not numbered, but this muscle is a flexor digitorum profundus muscle. You will see here the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, number 75, right? And you'll see over here number 81, the superficial radial.